Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel PHP Step by Step. My name is Anil, and today we will learn about the type property of the PHP. And this property is introduced in the PHP 7.4 just some day ago. And uh, uh, in the last video, I just give you the overview of every pro uh, everything which is released in the PHP 7.4. Now let's just uh, focus on the type properties. Before Laravel, uh, sorry, PHP 7.4, we are not able to use the uh, type declaration inside the class. Like we cannot use the integer, string, float, boolean, and all, but now we can use, all right? So, first of all, let's see my PHP version. This is the 7.4. I just upgraded the two to uh, two days ago. So, I have the latest version. I will uh, make a program, an example of uh, the type declaration here, and after that, I will compare this with the PHP. 7.3.10 is it running successfully in the uh, the example is running the success successfully in the 7.3 or not all right so we, so we we can differentiate them or we can compare also so let's uh, first of all i am just going to make a php tag and let's declare a class here so let's class name like the user and after that just define some properties and like public integer dollar id and it can be like 100 or uh, we can also declare one more property like public string and uh, like name and it can be like uh, like anil or anything that you want to just make okay and after that uh, let's make a object of this class so just declare u equal to new user and uh, let's uh, just make it small and now uh, i'm just going to echo dollar u and i'm just going to use my property id here right and now let's see the output of this program now you can see that we got the hundred. Now just copy this program and try to run inside the PHP 7.3, and it will give you a simple error here. All right. So whenever you just execute this code, it will show you an error here, like integer unexpected integer. So that means this is not going to run in the PHP 7.3. This is a feature of PHP 7.4. All right. So just complete this program. So I'm just going to make a one more function here, like public function out or here I'm just going to define the two variables like id and comma mm -mm, dollar name, all right? So by default value, I am just going to erase it so that we can get the value from the parameter. So I am now just... Uh, finding a function and return something here like return your id is this and now i can just make a dollar id and uh, just uh, like name is and once again i can just put the dot here and dollar name all right and let now just make a function here dollar u and we can make a function right we can just call the function out and id can be like 101 and the name like anil sindhu right make the semicolon at the last and now just run it mm -mm, we need a semicolon here also now just try to run this you can see that this program is working fine here but let's say i just copy this program here and try to execute it will not going to execute here all right so what i'm going to do here to run it i'm just going to remove the integer and string for here from here now let's try once more now you can see that this program is working fine so i hope you just got the idea about and what is this feature of the which is named as the type property if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in the next video we will learn about the arrow functions so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel 
if you have any kind of suggestion opinion or complaint even you can just ask me in the comment box